Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. Uh, Invoyance? Yeah. What is this building behind us? I don't know. It's just kind of there. Uh, I walked inside and it's just like, it's a Pokemon Center, but it's also a Pokemon Mart. And there's these two assholes standing in front of the, this doorway. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Is this supposed to be like another gym or something? Yeah, I think it's it has that logo on the like top thing above the door kind of yeah. like, kind of looks like it would imply like a battle or something it's probably like the ninth gym leader or 10th probably. or 11th or 12th or 13th. wait a minute i thought there was only like eight gyms yeah we have all eight badges allegedly so what is this supposed to be i think i, I don't know i heard some some asshole in the victory road talking about it i think it's i, I think he called it the elite five Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they so, uh, We we beat the elite, or not the elite four. <laughs> we <laughs> beat the victory road in the last episode because I we made that like, mistake like ten times, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and um, <clears throat> we, I was like, well, we're gonna finish it in the next episode, but then I realized it was like two trainers left. Um, which, hilariously enough, one of them had a Groudon for me. This is the yeah, same I, showed... I had a Lugia and a ho Yeah, I had a Lugia and a ho for me. Like, I still can't wrap my head around that either. It's like the third ho we've seen. It's the second yeah. Groudon we've seen. I don't... No diversity in the legendary thickness. No. And so, um, I was like, well, considering it's just those two, I was like, I just, eh, who cares? And then I left... And then, uh, me and Invoyance did a little bit of off-screen grinding. Now, I would a like to bit. mention, I would like to mention, we didn't actually chicken out like most people in Let's Plays do, and, like, just cheated rare candies into the game. Oh, yeah, no, we, we were, I think by the time we finished, it was something like 3 in the morning for me, even later than for Volans. Mm -hmm. Um, like, you know, we were recording this maybe, like, you know, midnight eastern time probably finished about five or so yeah so no no no. we we were legit we we grinded legit so yes don't even worry about that gamers so in Voyans, how about you show everybody what you get and then i'll show what i have don't mind if i do so i figured because tyranitar see tyranitar whoa 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 since tyranitar evolves at level 55 which he's at right now, as a matter of fact. Um, she, actually. It's a female. Um, but I figured 55 is a nice level for all of my Pokemon. So all of my Pokemon are level 55. And so I thought, you know... And then the Elite Four are mostly about level 50s, mid, low to mid. And then as you go on, it gets even worse. So, you know, this should be enough to do it, I think. I if I'm think wrong, so. Oh well, we'll, we'll keep grinding. If not, we'll have to, you know, go back and grind a little bit, and you know, maybe yeah. we'll walk back in and be like, oh, well, I didn't realize this person was gonna have, you know, well, a thing. Blaziken or something. That's the one joy we have is like, you know, their Pokemon won't change after the first time we see them. So correct. You know, we'll we'll know like if we lose, we'll know a different strategy. Like you remember uh, when I battled the Roxanne first gym leader, I lost to. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think you lost to a single gym leader, did you? Uh, no. Okay, so I just suck. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, like, you know, that second time I did it in maybe five minutes because I had a plan. So that's the one joy we're going to have here with the Elite Four. Worst case scenario, you actually can do something about it. Right. And so, uh, go ahead and show off all your Pokemon and all the moves and all the goodies before we walk on in. Sure. So first off, I got Pidgeot, Ooh. who's a, a gamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you so struggle with Pidgeot trying to level them up. Well, trading it was kind of difficult. I don't know if it's just the Pokemon that were in Victory Road, but I just sort of, you know, put him with the. I put an experience share on it and just sort of like let it go for a while. Uh, right. So he knows Steel Wing, Feather Dance, Wing Attack, and Fly. Okay. And then. And then secondly is Armaldo, who knows Cut, Rock Smash, Earthquake, and Ancient Power. Okay. Raikou, which knows Bite, Strength, Spark, and Flash. Okay. Then Charizard, 
who knows flamethrower karate chop wing attack and dragon rage that's a new one mm -hmm. uh, learned that one last night when we were grinding and then finally the coveted tyranitar uh, which knows crunch i got rid of bite so i got like bite level two here crunch leer thrash and rock slide and finally whale lord which knows water spout another new item or new move surf dive and waterfall so other than water spout whale lord is pretty much an hm sleep but you didn't hear from me right and so all mine are also at level 55 <clears throat> okay my Blastoise has Surf, Skull Bash, Ice Beam, and Water Pulse. Yeah, okay. And has a Sea Incense on him. Oh, I should have went over the items that my Pokemon have. Nah. Continue. Um, I'm gonna put a Miracle Seed probably on my Venusaur, even that's though... That's smart. Um, the only Grass-type move that's damaging that he knows is Razor Leaf. Um, I found out that Razor Leaf was actually did more damage than Vine Whip, yet for some reason it always felt like Vine Whip did more damage. You know what it is, is Vine Whip has 10 PP, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it just feels like it's stronger. Yeah, probably. Um, he knows Return, Synthesis, Sleep Powder, and Razor Leaf, which <laughs> he hasn't powder. died in a hot minute, so Return has been kicking some ass, and Synthesis restores some HP, so that's pretty hot. Yeah. Then I have an Ampharos with a magnet on it, which boosts electric types. Knows Thunder Punch, Thunder, Shockwave, and Brick Break. Then I have a Flygon, who is probably, like, the weakest Pokemon that I have in my party, <laughs> <clears throat> unfortunately. Knows Dragon Claw, Fly, Dragon Breath, and Crunch. And my Blaziken has Charcoal, which boosts fire types. Uh, slash, Blaze Kick, Overheat, and Fire Punch. And finally, Metagross, with nothing on it. Knows Meteor Mash, Earthquake, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. Alright. So, uh, let me just say what items my Pokemon have real quick. Uh, right. So, my Pidgeot has a Shell Bell, which I was fortunate enough to get. I mean, you still have found the High Tide, or I mean yeah. the Low Tide, to make one. But it restores HP... By doing something, I don't remember, but, um... By I just doing put up, damage. Put it up Pidgeot, because it has pretty low health. Uh, and then Armado has a soft sand, uh, because it knows Earthquake, and that can be epic. Mm -hmm. uh, Raikou has a focus band, mostly just because I want him to stay alive. Uh, Charizard's got a charcoal in his hand. Tyranitar has a quick claw, which I don't really know is if that's even justified anymore. Right. I gotta check. I, I did it on... I had it. I gave it to... Um, Larvitar a long time ago because it was slow as hell. Um, right. I don't know how different that is now. I might as well just check that and see if there's anything better I can give him. Uh, and then Whale Lord has a sea incense for the water. Um, well, actually, Armada was actually the slowest Pokemon I have, but Tyranitar is the second slowest, so I think I'm just going to keep it where it's at. Right. I don't know okay. if there's any whole item that would be better anyway, so. Mm hmm. And so what I'm going to do real quick is I've gathered all of my, like, held items that might be of importance. Yeah. And I am also going to come in here and grab any, like, uh, like these, uh, where is it at? Uh, like the elixir that can raise all the PP back up to 10. Yeah. Um, full restores, I'm going to grab some of those. I'm not. I'm gonna save the sacred ash for Steven later down Yeah. Now. Oh, okay. I see. I'm gonna grab the potion. I'm gonna grab the two ethers, the three max revives, the six hyper potions. I'm gonna grab all that junk. If you need to buy anything, do it now. Obviously, you know, mm -hmm. stats and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna grab iron, uh, protein. I'm zinc, gonna save that as well for calcium. Like, in case my team changes at all. Come. Like this fight with Steven, you know. I'm I'm gonna stay true. I've stayed true for my team for so long. I'm just gonna keep it on. Right. Or like so not necessarily if my now. team changes, but like if later on I'm like, oh, well, Venusaur seems to be a lot weaker than I thought he used to be, you know. Uh huh. There's only one item that I'm not gonna use, and that's a PP Max, because those change. 
right, my exactly. team my team is not going to change, so I'm going to use all of those uh, mm -hmm. proteins and stuff now. So let's see here. Carbos raises the base speed stat. Well, I got six of them, so I can use it on every single Pokemon. Right. Apparently Pidgeot doesn't need one anyway. <laughs> hey, what is it? Why does it say it has no? It won't have any effect. What is it? Carbos. Uh, probably because it's like already maxed out. Huh. I'm not sure. Oh, not sure I'm more that. afraid that I might. I was supposed to use these a long time ago or something. No, I don't. No, I don't think so. Because it wouldn't let me use it on any of them. So. Why does oh, it keep, really? keep, say, keep saying it has no effect on any of them? I don't... That's huh. weird. I have no idea. Raises special attack. Yeah, it keeps saying it won't have any effect, huh? That's weird. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. Well, I guess I'll just hold on to it then. <laughs> I guess so. Whatever. <laughs> I... Okay. <laughs> Interesting. In the comments, if I'm stupid, let me know. Um, well, we already know that you are, so what does it matter? Ah, you ah, got me. You got, got me. Him. I got him. Alright, so I think I'm pretty well stocked for fighting this uh, non-stop here, so I got my revival herb that I was given somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sacred Ash, probably never going to use it until later, um, just in case. Right. Um, 10 full restores. Got 5 max revives on me. 20 full heal, 50 hyper potions, 50 max potions, and 40 revives, all to help me out. 50 max potions? Yeah, you never know. Jesus. <laughs> um, I have 14 ma- oh no, that's max repels. Um, I have <laughs> 4 ethers, 10 full heal, 5 antidote, 6 paralysis heal, 5 revives, 2 potions, woo woo! Um, an X, X accuracy that just kind of sit, sitting there right now. Um, one elixir, five full restore, one max potion, two max ethers, ten hyper potion, three max revives, and three max elixirs. And putting new items on my Pokemon. Um, I put the better mystic water than the sea incense on my Blastoise. Oh, Where yeah. Seed on Venusaur, Magnet's still on Ampharos, Quick Claw on Flygon. Charcoal still on Blaziken, and I put the leftovers on Metagross. Because if he wasn't already tanky enough. Yeah. All right, now, I am ready if you are, by the way. Now, what's the difference? Sorry to no, put no, a damper no. on it, but I didn't hear you entirely. But what's the <laughs> difference uh, between a Mystic Water and um, Sea Incense? Sea incense. Yeah. I believe, see, well, it says Sea Incense just slightly raises the power of water attacks. Uh -huh. Whereas the Mystic Water just says that it raises water attacks. So it oh, could okay. be ever so slightly more powerful. Well, I don't even have one anyway, so I'm just going right. to shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready to get into this if you are. Alrighty. Let's go Beyond talk to these. this point, only those trainers who have collected all of the gym battles are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all of the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Very anticlimactic, but alrighty, let's begin, shall we? I have taken my first step into the Elite Four, and who is this? We see in front of us. So normally, he's a Dark type. Yes. Leader, but well, it could we'll be see anything. What he is today? I'm Welcome, Challenger. Save I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that you've given me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good, looking real good. All right, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. The intro is always epic. Oh yeah, I've always liked these, except for the like really bad pixel art. Oh yeah. <laughs> and First he one he takes out. out go ahead. Oh, he got a lantern for me, which That's you know is the you. bane of my existence. I hate that thing. Yeah, well, for me, he didn't take out a Wobbuffet, so I'm good there. He took out a Bayleaf, so... No, I guess I should have probably turned battle animations back Yep, on. I did. I was about to say that. I, uh, when when we were grinding, we uh, turned off battle animations to make it go quicker, and we didn't exactly realize that. Um, yeah. So... And I'm already we'll, poisoned, so... We'll fix me. that in the right. future here. 
I'm already poisoned. Oh, great. First moves, poison powder. <laughs> Don't poison me again, you turd. Nope, you're gonna full restore exactly like I thought you were. I am so big brain. <laughs> well, That's why I knew down, I shouldn't so. have fire punched again. <laughs> Alright. Hate yeah, lantern yeah. so much. Oh, yeah. A Raichu, another electric. Ooh. Is this guy just gonna have electric types? Apparently. Yeah, man. Never else keep using Earthquake. A Zatu. Yeah. Uh oh. -uh. Raichu down. So, what is super effective against Psychic? It's just Dark, yeah? Dark, I think, yeah. Okay, I only have one Dark type move in my party, so Flygon, I hope, you, uh, hope you're good here. And we got Breloom here. Good Pokemon, but uh, nice mm -hmm. flamethrower is enough. Right. Getting one hits on all these. I'm glad I gave him a Quick Claw to Vibrava, because he's kind of a glass cannon. Sure, it's Vibrava. <laughs> well, Vibe Brava is his name, but it's oh, a yeah. fly gun. <laughs> Tyranitar's animation is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it just looks stupid to me. <laughs> But Tyranitar's effect is it creates a uh, sandstorm out of nowhere, so every single battle there's going to be a sandstorm. Oh, jeez. Is that too? Same, bro. <laughs> Interesting. Now see, right now, because all the, all the first person's Pokemon are weak, mm -hmm. you know, it's sort of like... Right now, it's sort of at a place where it's like... You know... It's it's easy or it's pretty much guesswork. Yeah, pretty much. Like you know, that first Pokemon is guesswork. That's and then after that, you can sort of calculate because you know it keeps saying, "Oh, they're sending this out next." But that first Pokemon, you don't know. Right. But I def I have finished off Sydney. Well, I still have I, I think like two that. Pokemon left. The Ursuline that he took out gave me some shit. Oh really? Yeah. Eh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> I got stop well, detecting, dude. Listen to what this loser has to say. <laughs> You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. The mind if I do. Zengus has detected himself four times in a row. He knows what he's looking for. Uh, apparently. Oh, a shuckle. Oh, oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. I like this guy already. He has like a super like intimidating lineup. Like except for Bayleaf. He's got like Zangoose, he had Ursaring, he had Zatu, and he's just got Shuffle. Alright, so I'm on the second battle here. Make sure Oops. you turn battle animations back on. Yes, thank you for the reminder. You are welcome. And battle he has scene on. Alright. So I noticed that she's usually a uh, ghost, isn't she? Uh, yes. Thought so, okay. Yeah, because she usually has, like, two Dusclops or something. Yep. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training at Mount Pier. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. That's toxic. I know. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. She says she has the ability to talk to a ghost, but... Right. You know, how, how well is that going to treat her right now? Right. Sends out a Pelipper. <laughs> Not going great so far for her, huh? And, of course, it uses Protect. What else? Well, of course. Well, I used my two potions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always do some healing in between um, battles. Yeah. Like I, I should have gotten a couple of like uh, super potions or something. But yeah, I, I know. I just bought a bunch of hyper potions. Yeah, 50 of them apparently. Stockpile. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, now it's just gonna keep swallowing, you know? You say swallow and she takes out a swallow. <laughs> Against you? Yeah. Alright, this power is not is a... Finally. Haha, get just ice beamed. Like five times in a row. Get ice beamed, lady. Stockpiling two. 
victory bell, huh? Alrighty. And it's pretty well so far. <sighs> this Pelipper is just gonna be a bitch. <laughs> it's just, well, like it's it's stockpiles and then it swallows. So it's like it gets its health back. What is it? Oh, uh, whatever. It's a Pelipper. A Pelipper. Oh. Next up, another goddamn lantern. Go oh away. Oh my god. Oh, you know how we were talking about Gengar and how we haven't seen one yet. Huh. It's a ghost trainer, and she's taking out a Gengar. The game was waiting. Oh, I just hit. It's cut by accident. I wanted to use Earthquake. Whoop de doo. I actually did a decent amount. So if this Earthquake wasn't going to originally finish off the lantern, this might. Right. Help. Okay. Well, she is 100% going to use a full restore in this game, guy. Right? Oh yeah. Um, Given the opportunity, they're going to. I'm gonna hyper potion my flag on them. Not that I need it. Only did the 98. A file bloom. Yep, there's the forward store. <laughs> I called it. Once again, I apologize for my squeaky 20 year old chair. That's like what I was saying about, like, you know, after the guesswork. Because, like, you know, she's showing out like three Pokemon in a row, and I know I have the weaknesses to them. Mm hmm. So it's like, you know, it's easier once in a while. Right. Illumise. See, I'll just keep Charizard out for that. Yep. No big deal. It's a level 50 Illumise. Jesus. A little overkill. And then oh, a no my noon. So you know, I'm gonna keep Charizard out because he knows a fighting move. Right. Now, what is super effective against normal types? Fighting. Fighting is? Okay. That's why I kept him out. For some reason, I always want to say it's dark as well, but it's not. <laughs> the Lainu knows a rest. Jeez. What? <laughs> why? Imagine. Despite being a dragon move, Dragon Rage really doesn't do it to a whole lot. No, not really. I got a I crit. mean, it is a dragon move, so I mean, it's really all, it's all it's effective against this dragon. Right. Oh, another normal type? Damn, I'm just gonna keep you out, Ampronis. There's definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural I lost. Yep. Oh I'd like God, to see how thanks. far you bond or kill on. Go ahead, move to the next room. Not right, get pranked. Thrash almost killed my Ampharos. Yep. Damn. Okay. Let's try this. Alright, well, I defeated Pihiobi. Pihiobi. Nice. So, uh, next is the, the Ice Lady. Which I don't know why. I, I always thought she was easy. I don't know if it's just because. I think I chose, this is one of the times that I broke the mold and chose a fire type, just because Torchic was cute and cool. Yeah. Now, of course, you use another full restore. So let's see what, uh, I don't remember her name is supposed to say. Glacia. Yeah, sounds good. Welcome. Right. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. And all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers oh and their God. Pokemon. But what about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. This Tauros knows rest. Oh lord. And Return has the longest animation in this game. It lasts about five seconds. Graveler, not great. Yeah, well, it's not Golem, so... Well, no, but it's just that I have, I started with Pidgeot, so yeah, I'm withdrawing oh. and throwing Wailert out. It's stuck in a rollout, so I better make this quick. Alright, well, P-H-O-E-B-E -E is dead. <laughs> I just used Water Spout, and that took it down. Damn. 
That water spout was OP. Yeah, a little bit. Tangela. That was Tangela a grass type? No. Or is it normal? Grass I never poison, get this actually. right. It's a grass poison. Alright. So fire is super effective. Charizard's getting a workout today. Yeah. They're literally, I've used him for probably the majority of the battles. I've been like steadily switching back and forth between everybody except for Metagross. Metagross has not seen a battle yet. I don't think I have any Pokemon that haven't seen a battle yet, but still, there's ones that have been in like one. Yeah. A Hypno. Ooh, a Murkrow. Alright, get ready to Yeah, every Pokemon's paid. been out at some point, but... Right. Let's see. Murkrow is part flying. Okay, cool. Ice Beam yes. is going to absolutely destroy it. Let's see if she takes out a single Ice type. So far, nothing. Takes out a Murkrow and a Solrock. So the one advantage of Tyranitar's ability is that, you know, it creates the... The thing. Uh, the Sandstorm. Which, you know, is ah, cool. Because it does, does good for me. Mm-hmm. But then any Pokemon I take out after that has to deal with it too, so it's sort of like... Right. Kind of a double-edged not... sword. Yeah. Doesn't do too much damage though, so... No. Not it's the end of but, it. But, uh, nothing changed. Tyranitar was poisoned, by the way. Oh god. So, you know, just because it's a tank now doesn't mean it's still, you know... Not right. gonna be immune, or not gonna be... Affected by shit like that. <laughs> So far, I have, by the way, one hit KO'd every single one of her Pokemon so far. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying about, you know... Oh, she's got a milk tank. I'm kind of scared now. Oh, oh no, it was Bide. Flashbacks to Gen 2. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, The worst no. thing in the world. I'm kind of scared. She bided. Oh, great. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh... Nido King. I'll take out Metagross simply because he's the tankiest one I got. But super effective against poison. Uh. Bug, right? I think so. I asked you this the other day and I had I no know. idea. I don't know, I still might be wrong. See you Shadow Ball and Milk Tank because it didn't do any. It wasn't going to do any damage and wasn't. Oh my god. I just, just nearly need. killed me. I just know that Nido King has the poison point thing, so yeah. I'm just gonna try not to touch it. Right. Okay, let's let's just easier match surf. Poison. Okay, body slam did nothing. Haha. Huh, huh. Oh yeah, surf is actually good against it because um, ground. Right. Yes, the milk tank's it, dead. But smart move. Right. Crowbat. All right, Raikou, you know what to do. Oh, we're just. We're just running through this here. <laughs> yeah, we kind of are. Maybe we over leveled a little bit too much. That's fine. Yeah. We're gonna have another grind session at the end of this anyway. Yeah, I know. For Steven. Yeah. It's gonna be t take longer too. I know, because Steven's up in the 70s, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting move. Uh, don't confuse Raimi, you dick. Oh, wait. Oh. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Tyranitar hasn't been in a battle for like four turns. Right. And the Sandstorm took the Crobat out. <laughs> and I beat the... Oh, I beat Glacia. <laughs> nice. You and your Pokemon, I just how hot your spirit burns. And all consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy scales failed to harm you. 5300 bucks, hell yeah. No. Yeah. Advance, Advance to the, next, to the room, next room, and there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Okay, so I guess she's implying that everything before her isn't shit. This pretty much. Alright. I have I... only had to use, I think, three Hyper Potions so far, and nobody's fainted. I haven't had any faints either, but I just had to use a full heal. Hmm. I only had to use... Actually, I take the back, I had to use an antidote, too. I'm right, so. last of the Pokemon League, the Leech Far, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free, 
At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what it is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. This overworld sprite looks like, you know, as He's if badass. it's badass. Oh yeah. Giraffe rig, okay. Swellow. He's actually good, uh, you know. Yeah. Like his first Pokemon is level 52, and that's his weakest. Right. Don't even bother to using double team on me, buddy. <laughs> oh shit. Is he, is he gonna get Pit? No. I thought he was about to kill Pidgey up, but. Because <laughs> it used Endeavor, which brought me down to like a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the shell bell barely does anything, but it's still something. <laughs> yeah, I have leftovers, which is like a, essentially is a better version of it. Yeah, that and the master ball I haven't found either. Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh well. Ooh, the blossom survives a fire punch. Mr. Mime. <laughs> Mr. Meme. Oh, and you use a full restore on the Blossom of all things? Okay. Interesting choice. Okay, I don't know, Crunch can lower uh, special defense, that's nice. Mm hmm. It's got a full restore it anyway, so. Right. Like, I, like right. I care. Yeah. Well, there goes the Blossom. You know, the AI has no care for which Pokemon it is. It just knows that that Pokemon's weak, so they're just gonna use a full restore. Like, you know, guy's... they they should be used keeping it for like their last Pokemon. But eh. right, this guy's taking out a Milotic. Oh good. Kind of scared now. I always thought the sound of Milotic was kind of weird. Oh yeah. Kingdra. Hmm. I ran into a bunch of those in the elite. Or uh, I go. Why do I? Ever, why do I keep saying elite four instead of elite, elite four? Road? I don't know. Well, yeah, I did. I did in fact run into a Kingdra in the elite four. Crazy. Right. It's insane, ain't it? Oh, hydro pump. That might kill me. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Oh. No, it didn't kill me, but it brought me in yellow. Is Kingdra part dragon? Yes, crit. Uh, Kingdra. I don't. Run, I don't. Oh. Yes, it is. I just it got hydro dragon. pumped. You got hydro pumped too. Yeah. A so I threw out Raikou because I was like, oh yeah, it's water type. No right. big deal. No. Nope. Actually, was a big deal. Yes. Yes, indeed. This guy's taking out a Stantler. Now, this is I was going to throw out Charizard because he has a dragon move, but then there's no point now. Right. It's, well, Kingdra down anyway, so. Right. Skizor. Ooh. Ooh. Get put to sleep, Stantler, you bitch. And there's Charizard again doing his job. <laughs> Apparently Skizor is not affected by the Sandstorm either. Hmm. Oh, because it's like steel. Yeah. That <laughs> Charizard's level 56. Okay. Ursaring. Ooh. No, I haven't given... I, I feel like Armalo's done the least work. That and Whale Lord, so... I still have yet to take out my Metagross, except for- Oh, you know, I take that back. I used a Meteor Mash and Tank to hit once. No. Oh, he's taking out a Blaziken. Ooh. I have pretty much, like, full type coverage at this point. I yeah, didn't even realize how I, feel. I had such a type coverage. I gotta say, I could've dealt with this Ursa Ring with Charizard, but I was like, eh, I'll give my other Pokemon a shot. Right. Does Blaziken faint to a surf? Yes, he does. 
And this dude is done. Now wait up before the champion here. I got this last that Pokemon. I can do. got this last Pokemon and I'll be out of your way. Superb, it should be said. Alright, that'll do it. <laughs> you deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some healing. I don't care if, like, you know, there's a little bit of health missing. Right. I'm just gonna heal up entirely, just because. Yep. I have no idea what to expect. Probably overkill, but even yeah. then. You never know. He could have like six freaking legendaries. It's just yeah, destroying. It'd be hilarious, yeah. Excuse me. So where are we at here? Um, I'm gonna give an elixir um, to Armaldo because he's got ancient power that I used a couple of. Okay. Well, I am ready if you are. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm just reviving gonna stuff. Save too. Oh yeah. Would you like to save this video game that you are currently playing? No. No. Not particularly, but I will anyway. Right. All right. Well, I'm ready to walk up the ridiculous flight of stairs. Okay. We will both enter into the champion's room when I say go. I have to get up there first. Yeah, I'm walking. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking here. Alright, I'm right in front of the door. Okay, when I say go. Three, two, and I'll read his text. One, go. Welcome, Volks. That incident in Sutopolis City it was superb work, putting an end to the crisis all by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raise Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokemon, and this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here now. The most a badass battle theme ever. You think so? I think so. This one's not well, not one of my favorites, but it's good. Starts with an Agron for me. Starts with a Lapras for me. Right, That's well, the one that we haven't seen at all yet. No. It's a Lapras. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit and take Pidgeot out because obviously it's not gonna do much. Right. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna use. Water spell. Oh, come on, it used protect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna use water spout. And it failed. Nice. I would also oh. like to note that this Lapras has sheer cold, so I'm kinda scared. Yes, yikes. I put it to sleep, though, so we should be okay for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you'll be good for a minute. And Venusaur took it down to like two thirds. Oh no. It's already woke up. What does Wall's Safeguard got, do? Uh, puts a veil around your team. Oh, I can't use Sleep Powder anymore. Nope, nope. Because of Safeguard. Fuck. Alright, so All Wallace right. had a Armaldo next. Stop <laughs> using Protect, you dick. <laughs> I only have one Water Spout left. Well, I got a shit ton of elixirs, so it's all good. Oh, it all failed. Lapras tried to do was use Sheer Cold. He failed every time. And then he full restored, because why not? Yeah. That's good because it's a more opportunity to sheer cold. Yeah. Kangaskhan. The dinosaur. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Whale Lord is just having a ball here. <laughs> These are all Pokemon that he can just nail. <laughs> I can just imagine like a Whale Lord just like splashing in the sea of excitement. Oh yeah, that's what he's doing right in front of me. Alright, well the Lapras is finally dead. Damn How it. How did I get a crit earlier? I got Dizzy Punched. What does Dizzy Punch do? Confuses you. Oh boy. Ooh, a Ninetales. Ooh. 
Blastoise. Oh, come on, it's at like one health. Blastoise, you're gonna have some fun today, Chief. Hurt itself in confusion. What are you doing, oh, Wailer? Get your head out of your ace. Don't confuse me, you bitch. Don't, don't hurt yourself in your confusion. Oh, thank God. Don't hurt yourself in your confusion, Blastoise. Fuck. I thought Kangaskhan was rock or ground or something. I think it's both. Oh crap! I forgot to give him a hyper rip whaler. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. Damn. Large brain gaming. Well, the good news is the thing that's doing the most damage to me is the confuse rate, not the quick attack. It keeps thinking it's gonna do damage to me. Okay, unconfused Blastoise. It's just a second. Okay, thank you. At least you surfed this time. Does he die in one hit? Yes, he does. Hell yeah. Reversal, what does that do? Ooh, Clayball. Shit, that hurt. Both of these guys have had Pokemon that Steven normally has. I know, he had an Armaldo on my side. Claydol for me. God, can you stop? Oh. Full restore on the Kangaskhan. Second full restore, mind you, on the same Pokemon, so he might be out. I don't know how many he has. Hmm. Oh, finally, you snapped out of confusion, you bitch. Oh, Sandstorm. Oh. I'm already confused because I used Thrash, so, uh... Ooh. Well, it used Dizzy Punch, but didn't do anything, so that was worth it. Right. A Crawdon, okay. Interesting. If he has a third full restore, I'm about to bait it out of him again, so let's see what happens. Nope, doesn't. Hmm. I've only seen one so far, so... Oh, come on, a crit? Fuck off. Tyranitar's down too. Jeez. You're not doing too hard. I, I am not having a great time, but I think this is his third Pokemon, so I'm almost halfway there. I got shit tons of revives anyway, I don't care. And I am actually, like, fucking Wallace. <laughs> the only thing that he's done is managed to take my Ampros down to two-thirds health. And my Blastoise down to half health. Oh, come on. It endured the hit. Who are you? <laughs> Whatever the Sandstorms are going to get him. <laughs> so, sweet revenge right here. Right. Get fucked. <laughs> this guy's giving Hoenn some love. It takes a pride of him. Loyalist. <laughs> Except for I take out... Flygon doesn't Sandstorm doesn't do any damage to me, but it does deprive me. Throws out a gold duct. Hey uh Wallace, you ever seen a Raikou before? <laughs> Get fucked. Oh man, it was almost a one hit KO. Okay, he's gonna use the floor store in this primate then. Ooh ah. Uh -uh. 100%. Yep, he did. Okay. And he got he got paralyzed and then couldn't move. Oh man. Sucks to be you, Willis. And he used a full restore, so he has three that I've seen. Okay. That's worth noting, but. Interesting. But he mostly probably did it because paral paralysis. Right. <laughs> I got <Right>. paralyzed again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, the Primeape is down. I'm down to his last Pokemon. Nice. I got two more. I'm a so star. Oh, this is Wait this is up it. for me if you get out of here quicker. I'll wait until, like, his first words after the yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, he's got an I'm a star, so I already won. Feraligator. Alright, well, Raikou. Level 58 keep... I'm a star. Raikou, no keep what you're doing there, buddy. <laughs> so all I gotta do is put the I'm a star to sleep, and then just... Uh... Uh, Razor Leaf my way to victory. No, it's OP anyway. The, the sleep and Razor Leaf combo. It kinda is, though. 
Oh my god, Razor Leaf one hit KO some high nice. win! <laughs> Give Alrighty. me just a second here. Yep, I'll wait. We'll celebrate I'm at the, together. I'm at the player defeated champion Wallace text box. Get to listen to the nice music for a minute. Yes. The victory music. Citrus berry, come on. I'm trying to get this done. Not a single one of my Pokemon fainted this entire time. I had two faints here in this last battle, but that's fine. Last yeah. battle. Right. A pincer, oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, Charizard. Charizard. Yep, Charizard, you can finish this here, buddy. Last Pokemon. A level 56 pincer. Damn. He must have already taken out his level 58 for you then. Yeah, that was uh, for Alligator. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, he did not have a good time there either. No. Oh, I should have I should have taught him a uh, overheat, but I whatever. Yeah. One flamethrower, and it's done. Yay! All right. Player defeated champion Wallace. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so, and yet it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Bones. You are truly noble, Pokemon trainer. 11,000 bucks for my trouble. The Pokemon you sent into battle, at times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region Oh, Here, I'll do fun. May and Birch. Alright. Oh, oh, Envoy, Here, here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Huh? Wait, what, what? Envoy, could it be that it, it's already over? See? His what lines are different you, than May? mine, then. Oh, really? Yeah, he was, he was like, how would you like some advice? And then it was like, um, wait, <laughs> could it already be you already beat him or something? Oh. Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Envoy? Envoy, you finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Bettelberg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion... Ah, yes. What became of your Pokédex? Here, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> so you've seen 171 Pokémon, and you've caught 17 Pokémon. <laughs> Sorry, Professor I've Birch. I've seen 180 and <laughs> caught 21. I guess you're getting the hang of it, but yeah. it gets harder from here. Anyways, congratulations. Now, go proudly into the final room. Bones. No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion! Come with me. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. <laughs> I'm just joking, that's okay. That's the rule. Yeah, Boy, and for him honestly. and for me, he says it can't be helped if that's the rule. Congratulations. Epic music time. Yes. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here the Pokemon League champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League, and the names of the partners who battled with you. I always thought the silent healing was like, icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. And a grayscale, we go. Do not turn off the power. Yeah. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Like, I like how some of these Pokemon, like, the number for the Pokedex is like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> All of my Pokemon. <laughs> Except for Amaldo. Right. And Waylord. For me, Vibrava and Blaziken. And Metagross, too, I guess, technically. So three of mine were from... Okay. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. So three of mine were from Hoenn. Two of mine were starters from Kanto. And then one of them was a Johto. So I got a little bit of champion. Congratulations! All right, we did it. Hey, a round of applause.
director Kenji Suramoto, world director Junichi Masuda, lead programmer Hisashi Mogabe. No crying at the music. <laughs> ah, yes, and then pictures of all the Pokemon that you have caught. Yeah, I know. Is there a button to speed it up? I don't remember. Uh, oh, well. I don't think so. Nope. I think mine's gonna be awfully short. <laughs> yeah. Mine was too. I'll we'll just have to sit here for a little bit then. Yeah. Well, it's not over yet. No, there's still there's still a decent amount of uh, what's it called? Still post a decent amount of content. post game content into Emerald, so we still got to do some of that. It's not over yet. I mean, we we beat the main story. It is what it is. It but, is what it is. But there's still a lot to do. We're gonna get into some of that in just a moment here. I just saw Tyrogue across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it's not over yet, gamers. No, not quite. We still got a little bit. Not much post-game content, but a little bit. Well... See a rival just go by. <laughs> Any closing thoughts now that we are Pokemon League champions? I'm um, better than a lot of people. Let me just get a Pokemon League champion ego all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean... This is not the first time I've beat Emerald, but it's the first time I've ever beaten a randomizer, so I thank you, actually, for getting me into it, so... Yeah. Well, we it are. was definitely an enjoyable time. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. It's still going to be for a couple more episodes anyway. Absolutely. This is the first time that I have beaten Emerald, but not the first time that I've beaten the Hoenn region. Yeah, I know I've beaten the Hoenn region multiple times over, but... Yeah. You know, make sure show your starter last. Right. The starter that I don't... Th I think I threw the starter away. Like oh, yeah, you started with Route Kabuto, didn't you? Yeah. Oh no. I, I got rid of him at like the second route. I was yeah, just I like, count my starter because it was good, but yeah. Uh, you, you, you nope. didn't get exactly. Uh, I just saw Satoru Iwata's name in the credits. Rest yeah. in peace. Rest in peace. The end. Don't click A. There's Don't there's click. a little interlude at the end. Oh, there is. Yep. I just about See, ready to hit A. That's the interlude from uh, Gen 2. Let's see here. Any second now. Should have already started for you. Oh, the sign is what it is? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm clicking A. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like Gen 2 music, but not enough to sit there for bloody forever. Nick. All right, so let's go back to the home screen here. Okay. And then okay. click our profile here. Start in our room. Let's click on what's on TV. It's, it's a flash in here. And now it's time for the Name Raider Show. <laughs> oh, it's for me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, here's a little something. Uh, for those of you, I don't know if a couple of you were observant or not, but um, I just want to I at one point, for maybe like 20 minutes of an episode, I named Puppetar Poopetar, and I hope somebody caught it, because the Name Raider show is putting it out there. <laughs> so if you didn't see it there, you're now seeing it. <laughs> so I must say that Poopetar is a, quite a good nickname. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that now that the game's over. Uh, okay. So walk downstairs and uh, father is here. Okay, I'm gonna go over mm -hmm. here first. There we go. I'll read his thing. Hmm? Hey, it's Volans. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came to you by some from someone named Mr. Briny. The SS ticket. 
Hmm, a ticket for a ferry? If I recall, there are ferry ports to Slateport and Lily Cove. Here comes Ma. I'd better get back to Petalburg Gym. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. <laughs> the mob has no name. <laughs> no, just mom. And there he goes. That daddy always comes home for the first time in a while and only talks about his Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. The Ooh, TV's on, on again. The telly. Breaking news story. We bring you this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locales, there have been reports of bzz, colored Pokemon in his flight. They identify as the Pokemon currently unknown. Now we, now we return to your regular movie program. Did you catch that? What color did the announcer say that Pokemon was? Oh, so this is it. You either select red or blue. Uh, if you select red, it's Latias. If you select blue, it's Latios. But obviously this is a randomizer. However, yeah. I'm going to click red because my favorite Pokemon is Red Blaziken and yours is a blue a Bulbasaur. Ooh. See the genius there? That's utterly insulting, but <laughs> uh, as if as if my channel logo is not um, Squirtle, but I'll choose or, blue. Not Bulbasaur. I said Bulbasaur. Oh, I thought you were Squirtle. doing a joke. <laughs> no, I'm just dumb. S okay, so I'm going to choose blue because of Squirtle then. Yes. Well, isn't that something? There are still unknown Pokemon. Yes, Mom. Thanks, Mom. What's on your desk here, Ma? It's the instruction book for the running shoes. Oh. You don't put stuff away? No. Oh, it's, it's... Professor Birch outside the door. It's like 20 Well, minutes well, and boy. That was good work out there. I know there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. Oh, yes. Do you still have that Pokedex I gave you? I have something to show you. Let's go to the lab. Now! And boy and May, I made the two of you help me study Pokemon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that the Hoenn region, there are also Pokemon from other regions. No! No! <laughs> it goes to show how rich and very the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your Pokédex to the national mode. Here, let me see your Pokédex units. <laughs> it's so cool that even my Pokédex is getting updated. It's because you went out and caught so many Pokémon. I don't know if that's it. I'm going to read Brendan's now because it's different. <laughs> all right. I went all over Hoenn and checked out Pokémon. You can thank me for getting the national mode Pokédex. Yep, you're lucky, Bones. Asshole. Okay, so Brandon's an egotistical asshole. Yeah, okay, I'm all done. Invoice Pokédex was upgraded to national mode. But listen, you've become the champion, but the Pokémon journey isn't over. There is no end to the road that is Pokémon. Somewhere that is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Alright, man. Whatever you say. Cool. Where's oh, this grassy anyway. patch? Yeah, which one are you talking about? Yeah. What, what does May have to say? Right, I think I'll take call. a short break for field work. I think it'll help the professor here for a while. So I got a phone call from our favorite guy. Scott. Ah, uh, loser. Hi, hi, uh, Volans? It's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS Title now. It feels great to be on the sea. Even though there's Corona all aboard. By the way... <laughs> There's this place that I'd like to invite you for a visit. If you're interested, board a ferry at either Slateport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet. I'll be waiting. Should we head there? Uh, I think it's time to end the episode off. Okay, so we'll hold off on what Scott's talking about, among other things. Uh, here, now that me and Volans are both the Pokemon League champions. But I'm the better champion, because okay. none of my Pokemon fainted. Okay. You had an easier time. You didn't have two lanterns to deal with. I don't even remember no. what fainted my Pokemon either. It was that or irrelevant because <laughs> it was that quick. I didn't even have a Wobbuffet. <laughs> I got lucky. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been hilarious? <laughs> oh god. Like the bane of your existence just appears at the it's end. It's like the level 58 Wobbuffet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all Steve, right. Steven will have a Wobbuffet. Oh god. Well, <laughs> in this episode, we became Pokemon League champions. And guess what that means? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because we're not champions until we beat Steven. Yep. 
But in the next episode, we will go check out what Scott is talking about, and we will do some more post-game content. So, for this episode, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.